I know. Customizing a product page is a hassle. You have to go to the backend, open the dashboard, edit the page, update it, etc. But what if you can edit the shop page live at the front end without going back to the dashboard and you can make these edits using your phone as well. It sounds like a fever dream, right? But it's not. In this video, I am going to show you how you can easily edit your shop page live in just a few minutes and you can do it anytime, anywhere. So I'm going to open a new tab and search for the plugin. Here it is. I'll open it and download the plugin from here. Then I'll go back to my dashboard, select plugins, add new plugin and upload it from here. Let's install and activate it. And as you can see, it's asking for a license key. You will receive the license key in your email when you complete the registration on the website. So I'm going to open a new tab to access my email inbox. This is the registration confirmation email and I'll open it and you'll see a key like this. Let's copy it, come back and paste it here. Then click on activation bar. When the activation is done, you will see a page like this where you can select the customizations for the page you want to edit. First is the default tab where you're going to select the page from the drop down menu that you want to edit from the front end. Next is a trigger option which means how you want the edit button to show up on the page. There are three options and I'm going to select this one. The third option is allow user roles, which means people who are allowed to make the edits. I'm going to permit these two positions. Also, I'm going to enable the edit from the archive button as well. The next option is product types and I've selected all the default ones here. I can choose which side the editor will be on the page from here. So let's keep it right because editors are always right at the bottom. I can pick a color from the editor's box like this. And when everything is done, let's save all the changes by clicking here. Now let's go to the shop page and I'll show you how the magic happens. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. I'm going to pick this product and edit it live on the website's front end. On the right, you can see this purple button. So let's click it and you can see all the options to edit the products like product name, description, price, etc. First, I'm going to change the product name to this. The second and third option is to edit the description and short description, which looks good to me. So I won't touch it. Next, I want to show the dress on the website shop as well as on the results. So I'll select this option. I'll also enable this ease featured option, which is going to showcase a dress on the website as well as on the search results. Now let's check the category for this dress. As you can see, it's categorized under dresses. So I'll leave it as it is moving on. I'm going to add some relevant tags for the dress like this. Then let's change this image and add one with a nicer background. Hmm, This looks better and I'll add a product image as well. Now let's change the price of the dress. So click on the price. I'm going to edit the current price to this and who doesn't love a sale. So I'm going to add a sale price like this. I can schedule the sale here and all I have to do is pick a start and end date for the sale. So let's do that quickly. Next, I'm going to show how to manage inventory of dresses. So this is going to be the SKU name. And this is the quantity that I want to show on the website. Let's make this dress a bestseller. So I'm going to click on low threshold and select the number of available dresses like this. You can also select the stock status from this menu and I want each piece to be sold separately. So I'm going to leave this feature enabled. The next option deals with shipping. So I'm going to mention the weight and dimensions of the product here. Now, when a customer buys this product, I want to show some related products as well. So let's link them here one by one like this. My last option is attributes, which means filters. So let's add some. Uh, the first filter I'm going to add is color, which I will select from this menu. Then select the colors that I want to show on the page. The second filter is going to be size. So I'll repeat the same process here as well and select all the sizes I want to show. 
Okay, I think I'm done. And this is how the final product looks like. All the edits I made are operating smoothly. Let's add the product to the cart and complete the purchase like this. See how easy that was. I don't have to use the dashboard or run any updates every time I make a change. I can customize my shop page anytime, anywhere. And even on the phone to increase sales and give my customers an amazing shopping experience so that they can visit again. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.